In the world of photography, there is an F word that you don't want to hear pronounced when you're buying or selling a camera or a lens, more specifically a lens. And today we are going to talk only about that F word. So F word is fungus. I'll tell you more after this. Before I tell you more about the charming issue of fungus, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Chris, also known as That French Blog. I'm a reseller. I buy and sell video equipment, cameras, lenses on the internet. I also do this channel to try to share my knowledge and my experience with people. I am trying to tell you what to look for when you're looking for a lens or a camera, how you can get the best equipment for cheap, basically. So if you enjoy that type of comment, please, please like that video, subscribe to my channel for more interesting content. So what is fungus? Fungus can grow inside the lens. The lenses inside the lens will move. Often, the size of the lens will change. And what that means is that some air is pumped in or out the lens every time you do that. With the air, some dust can enter into the lens as well, but also you might have some spores coming inside the lens. Or more exactly, you will have some spore coming into the lens. That is fine, it's always happened. But if the conditions are right, for the spores, or more exactly wrong for you, those spores will start to grow into some fungus. Fungus like to grow in dark environment, moist environment, and warm environment. So if you store your lenses in somewhere that is both dark, warm, and humid, you will certainly have fungus growing inside them. In my experience as a reseller, I would say that Maybe 10 or 20% of the lens have encounter have some degrees of fungus growing inside them. It is not such a high occurrence, uh, but it's certainly something that you have to look for because it does damage the resale value of your lens. No, I mean, I'm not saying no one, but uh, a clear way to put customer off is to put in the description of your lens that it has fungus inside. Now, don't let me, don't take it, well, don't take what I've just said the wrong way. I'm not saying that if you have fungus, you should not mention it. No, 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 no. Do mention it if you do have fungus. But be aware, it will turn most buyer off. Okay? A lens with fungus will be harder, harder to sell than a lens without. Now, fungus in a lens can be not such a problem or it can be a big issue. Um, depending on where the fungus are and how bad the case is. In some case, the fungus inside the lens will have no impact or no visible impact on the quality of the picture taken. Actually, it's quite amazing to see that sometimes even with some like fairly big case of fungus, you can take proper picture with the lens still. Uh, however, it's for sure, if it's a severe case, it will see. Um, whether it will impact the quality of the picture will also depend on what type of setting and what type of picture you are taking. If you are the closing your aperture, so the, the tighter your aperture, the more likely you will see the impact on your picture. What is the type of impact that you see on the picture? Well, usually it's area where you have less contrast. It gets a bit milky, it gets a bit foamy, you have less contrast, you have less sharpness, those sort of things. You have like blobs like that, that they're still there. There's, there's still something you can still see through it, but it's not as sharp as the rest of the picture. That is what you can see. Fungus tend to grow most often on the edge of the lenses. And the front lens is the one that is more likely in my experience to have fungus. So if it's on the front lens and on the outer edge of the front lens, usually that's okay. But if it's impact all the lenses or if it's dead center, you will have issues. I have here a lens that has a very bad case of fungus. Let me show it to you. I don't know if you can see the fungus from here, but the front lens is full of it. The back lens is full of it and inside lenses are also 
full of it. A lens that is bad like that will have lost all its value. I put that one on an auction for 10 euros. It's okay, it's not the most valuable lens anyway. It's what is it? It's uh, 80 uh, AI uh, Nikon. It's it's not such a good lens to start with. It's in very good condition except for, except for the fungus and it will have lost all its value. I think it will, uh, a lens like that will be worth like. 70 to 80 euros if it was not without the, the fungus with a fungus 10 euros no one wants it that's how bad uh, it can be another lens that has fungus is this one it's a uh, it came from the same uh, lot exactly uh, and this one is a 25 50 millimeter nikon it's a very nice and expensive lens this one uh, and it have a very mild case of fungus it's actually quite hard to see that it has fungus inside if you don't know what you are looking for. And that's why also I'm doing this video is to show you what fungus is. So let's have a look at the inside of that lens. And you can see it's, it's not easy to show, uh, it's not easy to film and to photograph. So often when you uh, see lenses that have fungus inside sold for on eBay, you will see a mention of the fungus, but people will not be able to show you the fungus because it's very, very hard to do. Uh, here, I think I've managed to show you what it is. You see those little white filament that are inside the lens. That is the fungus. It starts like this. It starts like white and fine. And um, it can sometimes grow much bigger and turn like into like big brown blobs. And that's the worst I've seen. That's, that, that's really bad when that happened. I think I've seen it only once or twice. Um, so those filaments, they don't impact that much the picture. Uh, this lens, I took picture with it. You can tell, you can tell that there are fungus in it when you are looking at the at the results. However, you have to mention that it's there, and it does hurt the the lens. I'm, I'm, at the moment, I'm, I'm putting it for sale with like a thirty percent discount for normal price because of the fungus. We'll see how it goes, uh, but I'm not too hopeful, to be honest. And that's where, I mean, fungus can be good or bad. If you are looking for a, li uh, a lens and you want a bargain, you may want to consider buying one with fungus. Uh, if it's a slight case of fungus or a look at fungus, you might get away with it in your picture and save money. Uh, the other thing you can do as well with a lens with fungus is clean it you can get rid of the fungus. Open the lens and clean each individual lens inside that may have fungus. It's usually fungus will will go if you have them nicely, they'll just go. It's not a big issue to remove them and then you can reassemble your, your lens and it's it's like new again. Although uh, some there are some cases where the fungus will damage the coating on the lens. In that case, if you remove the fungus, you will still have some mark uh, on the lens that will still be able to be seen when you look through the lens and that may or may not impact the picture taken. Usually not, but it will still make the lens hard to sell. Uh, the other thing that uh, is recommended to get rid of fungus or at least to make it less prominent is to put your lens in the light for a long period of time. Fungus like dark area and if you put your light in the sunshine for like a month <laughs> yeah it's not fast it will greatly destroy the fungus that's growing inside it will kill it for sure and it will also dry it and make it much smaller and less visible and have less of an impact uh, but this is a long process it has the benefit of being very cheap it's a long process and uh, <laughs> you need to have proper sunshine uh, where I live. Uh, I'm never going to try to have that because two months of sunshine in a row doesn't happen. Now, how can you avoid having fungus in your lens? Well, it's not easy. You cannot avoid having spores being pumped inside and outside of your lens when you are using it. Even if lots of modern lenses use internal focusing whereby only the lens inside the lens are moving and not the external one in order to not change the volume of the lens and not pump air in and out. 
even with those type of uh, lens it happen and with zoom there's nothing you can do zoom will vary greatly in in size so you cannot stop the spore from coming in your camera but you can make sure or you can avoid the spore turning into fungus how do you do that well you keep your lenses in a dry area keep them in your home not in your basement for example not in your garage uh, depending on where you live even your home may be humid if you live like in florida if you live in, in a tropical area there will be humidity everywhere in that case you will need to pack your lens in in a box with some silica gel that will remove the humidity from it when you're not using the lens avoid avoid storing your lens in your camera bag because that is a very good place for it to develop fungus since it's dark it keeps the humidity in and there is no ventilation either because one thing that fungus don't like either is oxygen okay so they grow better with low oxygen so if you really best place where to store your camera equipment i would say it's on a shelf if you have like a bookshelf store your equipment there it will also <laughs> stop your camera from being sticky that's something i will do a video on about one day but like for example some nikon cameras from the 80s 90s are or even the 2000s they can become very sticky if you leave them in your bag and surprising thing is you take a sticky camera you put it on a shelf you wait a couple of months and it's almost not sticky anymore so don't leave your camera equipment in your bag for too long put it on a shelf it may collect some dust dust it from time to time or even better use it and you will that way preserve your lens you want it somewhere where there is light somewhere where it's dry and somewhere where there is oxygen that's it for today guys it was a short video but now you know next time you find in the field a camera to buy or with a lens check the lens for fingers you've seen how it looks like make sure that there is none in the lens that you are buying and if there is some use it as a bargaining chip and a strong bargaining chip but don't pay full price or don't pay anywhere near what you would have paid with other fungus because the fungus will have a big impact on the value of the lens thanks for watching and i'll see you next time